A Dolby Atmos soundbar for your TV may truly take your home theater to the next level without the effort and expense of a full installation. These sleek soundbars can provide some immersive 3D audio experiences you'd enjoy at the movies. Are you in search of the best Dolby Atmos system? We have in store for you the 10 best Dolby Atmos soundbars out there. Let's begin. Number 10, Bose Smart Soundbar 900. The Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with speakers and bass module is a 2021 smart soundbar system. Bose's first Dolby Atmos soundbar includes nine channels of amplification hidden beneath the bodywork. In addition to the two height drivers, there is one central tweeter flanked by four racetrack transducers. There are no side-firing drivers, despite the look of its totally wraparound grille. Instead, two additional transducers at the far left and right use Bose's phase guide technology, giving the impression that some sounds are placed on either side of the listening location. The Bose Smart Soundbar 900 is a fun, feature-packed, and stylish Dolby Atmos soundbar. Many listeners will be thrilled with its responsive and cinematic performance, which features a remarkably broad sound field, clear forward projection, and brilliant character. However, its usefulness can be variable, and it occasionally adds its organizational structure and tone color to content, which is especially obvious when listening to music. Number 9. Divialet Dion The Dion is a luxury one-box Dolby Atmos soundbar manufactured by Divialet, with no alternatives to add an additional sub or rear speakers, instead relying on eight long-throw midwoofers to give amazingly extended bass performance and two side-firing drivers for surround effects. The Dion is slim and stylish, at only 77 millimeters tall, and features capacitive playback controls, removable gray fabric grills, and a tactile anodized aluminum finish. There are nine 41 millimeter drivers in total, with five or three facing you, depending on the orientation, and the eight woofers pointing front and back or upward and downwards. The Dion's source selection is a tad limited for such a high-end device. The Dion has a strong grip and a very capable low end when playing Dolby Atmos content, but it isn't especially immersive. It occasionally overemphasizes quieter sounds, but it's fast and sensitive with outstanding tonal transparency. Number 8. Sony HT G700 If you're low on budget, the Sony HT G700 could be just what you're looking for. It's not the smallest bar on the market, but it's certainly big on sound and value. Featuring a wireless subwoofer, dedicated HDMI input, and support for both Dolby Atmos and DTSX, Sony's proprietary vertical surround engine and S-Force Pro front surround technologies deliver a beautiful Dolby Atmos experience, while the massive subwoofer lends gravitas to large explosions. Of course, as an entry-level Dolby Atmos soundbar, it lacks the clarity of the much more expensive Sony HT ST5000. It also lacks music streaming capabilities as well as voice control. Still, if you're looking for a specialized piece of home theater equipment on a budget, the powerful sounding HT700 delivers a splendid cinematic performance at a reasonable price. Number 7. Harman Kardon Citation Multi-Beam 1100 Trying to estimate what a soundbar sounds like based on its appearance is like evaluating a book by its cover. It's likely to be a pointless effort. But after first laying eyes and ears on the elegantly built but obscurely named Harman Kardon Citation Multi-Beam 1100 Dolby Atmos soundbar, we can't help but have a small Roy Walker epiphany of, say what you see, when we realize that this streamlined, minimal, and tasteful speaker sounds exactly as it looks. The Multi-Beam 1100's acoustic performance matches its slick design, which is sophisticated and inconspicuous with no rough edges but a tad flat. It lacks a well-integrated app interface and when compared to the Sonos Arc, is less spectacular with its height effects and vocals. But even if you're not a Harman Kardon lover, this soundbar is definitely one to consider. Number 6. Blue Sound Pulse Soundbar Plus The Blue Sound Pulse Soundbar Plus is taller than a normal soundbar and will almost likely block part of the screen if placed on the same surface as a TV. But thanks to its extra height, the Pulse Soundbar Plus can accept forward-facing drivers 
with large diameters than most competitor models. Even though it only supports virtual Dolby Atmos, the final performance is remarkably detailed, robust, and gratifying. The Pulse Soundbar Plus has HDMI eARC, optical, 3.5mm analog, and USB-A inputs, as well as an Ethernet port and an RCA output for an external subwoofer. High-resolution audiophile formats are supported, along with streaming via Apple AirPlay and two-way Aptex HD Bluetooth. If you desire a more immersive surround sound experience, it can also wirelessly link to a pair of Pulse Flex 2i speakers for surround sound and or a Pulse Sub Plus for more bass, all of which are sold separately. Number 5. Sony HT-A5000 Sometimes cheaper models outperform more expensive models in terms of value. But in most cases, the flagship reigns supreme with the best features, build, and technology that a company has to offer. This makes it tough for lower-priced mid-range versions, such as Sony's HT-A5000 Dolby Atmos soundbar, to stand out. But here, with a powerful broad soundstage, solid low-end, and superb connectivity, the Sony HT-A5000 has a lot to offer, but its slightly boxy voices and unimpressive height drivers keep it trailing the class-leading Sonos Arc. The A5000 is still more stunning as a single-box sound solution than many of its competitors. Yet, this is where various businesses like Sonos pitch their flagship items, and as such, the competition is quite stiff if you don't bring your A-game. Number 4. Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar Sennheiser's Ambio Soundbar is stunning in both senses of the term. It's a beast, about 1.3 meters wide, considerably larger than the rivals. You'll get spine-tingling 3D audio that sounds completely natural, dazzling speech, and lots of low-end oomph. Bluetooth 4.2 and Chromecast for streaming provide similar connectivity. To be clear, its bulky size makes it challenging to position. But all of that extra room has been put to good use. Unlike other soundbars, which rely on external subwoofer, the Ambio just crams in larger, more powerful drivers, and it works well. It also does not include a wall mount, so you may need to make an additional trip to your local hardware shop. But once everything is in order, the results are magnificent. Number 3. Sonos Arc Sonos isn't new to soundbars, but the 2021 award-winning Arc is the brand's first to offer Dolby Atmos with vertical speakers. It costs more than the second-generation beam and is designed for a minimum 55-inch television. The Sonos Arc creates your sound field with 11 drivers, some of which are upward firing and aimed in your space to bounce sound off your walls and ceiling and provide a more accurate Dolby Atmos experience. All of this adds up to one of the most impressive Atmos performances from a soundbar. Surround effects are expertly positioned, and the sound has terrific dynamism and weight. If you merely want to listen to music, the tone is perfectly balanced, even though it could sound a little more direct. The Sonos Arc is an excellent overall soundbar. It has a well-balanced sound straight out of the box and a plethora of customizing possibilities to make it sound exactly as you want it to. It's a high-end soundbar setup with excellent surround and Atmos performance. Number 2. Sonos Beam Gen 2 The Sonos Beam Gen 2 is a 5.0 setup that is an upgraded version of the Sonos Beam. The award-winning Sonos Beam Gen 2 delivers a compelling, immersive performance without the use of a single vertical speaker. Instead, when watching Atmos content, two of the soundbar's five front-facing arrays are dedicated to generating above and surround sounds. With its powerful processing capability, the Sonos Beam Gen 2 employs psychoacoustic HRTF technology to create the illusion of height without the need to become vertical. While actual overhead sounds may be a reach for this small performer, its virtual delivery of the Atmos format outperforms any similarly priced soundbar and even a few more expensive ones. The Beam Gen 2 provides an immersive, spatial soundscape that includes rich, precise audio as well as tangible depth and motion. Because it is a freestanding bar, there is less rumbling in the low bass during action-packed scenes. And the lack of satellites reduces the immersive sense of surround sound. You can easily install these components independently if you wish to boost performance. Finally, to top off the charts, Sony HT-A7000. Sony has an undisputed reputation with soundbars, 
and HT A7000 is no different. In terms of height and precision, the performance is comparable to the Sonos Arc, but the soundstage width and forward projection are more believable. It's not the same as having direct audio from a speaker above or to the side, but it's effective and visually appealing, enhancing the viewing experience. Dolby Atmos DTS X LPCM High Resolution Wireless Audio and Sony 360 Reality Audio are among the audio formats supported by the A7000. There are connections for eARC, analog and optical audio inputs, and USB Type-A in addition to two HDMI 2.1 pass-through sockets capable of handling 8K at 60Hz, 4K at 120Hz, and Dolby Vision HDR. The Sony HT A7000 is an outstanding, future-proof, all-in-one performer with excellent integration, especially if you have a Sony Bravia TV. That's the end of today's video. Do let us know your favorite Dolby surround bar right in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more. Bye-bye.